a very simple aim here we keep so that it is to write a matlab program to demonstrate the adaptive filtering using the normalized lms algorithm so here we shall have the modularization and this is for generating the desired signal generating the desired signal here so for the signal to be represented on to the time axis here here we define one time variable t that will start with the value 0.001 with the step size of again 0.001 up to maximum value equal to 1 here and let us have the variable capital t defined which holds the desired signal information which is computed as twice of the sinusoidal function sign here in the bracket we provide 2 multiplied to the constant pi further multiplied to 50 and multiplied to the time parameter t here so a periodic type of the signal here we have defined to be the desired signal here now after this desired signal we want a signal to be corrupted with the help of noise here so for that purpose here we separate out a comment here generating the signal corrupted with noise here so as we have seen in the previous programming the desired signal is added by the noise component of the random type here so for that purpose first of all we have to match the length of the desired signal and that of the signal corrupted with the noise here so let us define small n to be the variable which holds the total count of how many elements are there into the desired signal so for that purpose we have matlab index n u m l the input argument is capital d here we end this syntax with the help of semicolon here now the signal corrupted with noise so this is the actual signal in practical sense here so let us define it with the help of the variable name capital a so it will be holding the desired information d of 1 to small n the length which is further added by here we have the randomness added so r a n d n is the matlab index to generate the random signal the dimensions to match with we provide the input arguments 1 comma n here and 90% of it we add to the desired signal component here now to develop the mathematical logic according to the normalized version of lms algorithm here we require a variable capital m to be holding the value 25 then for the weight factors we define the variable w that is first of all initiated to have all the value zero for the dimensions 1 comma capital m ending with the help of semicolon the update equation adds it is there that we have seen in the previous video so there it is updated weight factor here we define it with the name wi here so we also initiate it for the same dimension and the values zero here then as we develop the further logic it will be updated with the help of for loop here here we also require one variable capital e that is initially empty here the step size that we have in the conventional form of the lms algorithm so we keep it for this particular case to hold the value 0.5 then as this is the normalized version of the lms algorithm the mathematical formulation you might have seen so there it is the use of beta and this is further divided by the mod square of the quantity represented here so for that purpose here we will have definition of one variable called as den to represent denominator here so mod square of the actual signal here we computed as a of in the 
bracket one comma all the elements which is further multiplied to so for multiplication we have the asterisk the complex conjugate of the same so a of one comma all the components here all the coefficients for complex conjugate i provide the apostrophe here and here it is added by 0.0001 here so this is what the denominator to implement the mathematical expression that we have seen for the normalized version of the lms algorithm here next to that here we take the help of for looping index variable i that will start at m will extend to small n here here we calculate capital e of i which is initiated to be the empty matrix first of all so here we have a d of i minus the weight vector w i further multiplied to complex conjugate of a of in the bracket here we have i with the step size of minus 1 in the decreasing sense we have i minus m added by 1 here so apostrophe for the complex conjugate ending with the help of semicolon and the weight update equation here we have wi is equal to wi from the above step further added by twice of here the multiplication is to the ratio so what it was the step size into the conventional form of the lms algorithm that we have written m u which is divided by the denominator that we have defined in the above step outside the for looping here this is further multiplied to e of i further multiplied to capital a of i minus 1 steps up to i minus capital m plus 1 here ending with the help of semicolon and getting out of the for looping here so that is why here it is the use of end keyword here so this is what the mathematical logic we have developed for the normalized lms algorithm the change you note down that here it is the use of denominator so the variable den is there so now we need to have estimation of the signal according to the normalized version of the lms algorithm here so i just mentioned a comment estimating the signal so in this case initially we have the variable name est to hold this estimating signal we initiate it with the values all coefficient value zero for the dimension n comma 1 here use of for loop index variable i is equal to m to small n where we define small j initially for the actual signal a or i extending with minus 1 step it should be colon here afterwards again colon up to the maximum limit i minus capital m plus 1 here and then est of i will be computed here as the iterations of the for looping will be there so inside the parenthesis here we have the weight update wi further multiplied to the complex conjugate of j above step here so at the end we have semicolon getting out of the or looping here so this way the estimation of the signal after filtering through the adaptive type by the normalized lms logic we obtain here next to that to determine the error signal here so i write computing the error signal error signal is the difference signal we hold the symbol capital E small r r so here we have EST apostrophe minus the desired signal 
20 year so this is what the script to generate the four versions the first one desired signal four versions of the signal the first one is desired signal second one is the signal added by the noise third one is the estimated signal according to the normalized version of the LMS algorithm and lastly the error signal which is difference of the estimated signal and that it was desired here so here it should be all displayed so I just write display of the signals so for comparative display we shall be making the use of subplot command we expect the four rows and only one column assignment to the first cell here with the help of plot command here so the input argument will be capital D so that the desired signal will be displayed in the first sub cell here we provide here a separate title to this plot so the title keyword then we follow with a pair of parentheses and a pair of single quotes inside and here it is the string printed desired signal ending with the help of semicolon so out of the four cells into the pattern four rows and one column we have assigned to the first cell here next to that by the sequence we are going to have assignment to the second cell so it will be subplot within parenthesis 4 comma 1 comma 2 then again the use of plot command to make the display here so here it is the signal which is having the desired signal component the upper one added by the noise so that actual signal we had denoted by capital A here so here we provide the title so within a pair of parentheses and inside a pair of single quotes here I write here signal corrupted with noise ending with the help of semicolon then it is the third cell here so subplot 4 comma 1 comma 3 comma the use of plot command where the estimated signal is to be displayed here the variable name is capital E small st so that is the input argument here and the title here we provide estimated signal this is the string we provide or text you can call and there should be the assignment to the last cell 4 comma 1 comma 4 the use of plot command and the input argument is the different signal which is error signal so capital E small rr and here it is the title so title is within a pair of single quotes inside the parenthesis error This is what the MATLAB script here. Here we shall save it. So as we are into the chapter number six and get topic, I name it program underscore six underscore eight dot m will be the file extension. I save it to the current folder which is called as MATLAB onto the desktop. I have created it. So I just saved it you see there it is the file generated into the current directory the name has also appeared to the tab on the editor window and now it's time to run this particular program so as i run this there it is a matlab window has popped up so now i maximize this matlab window you see there are four rows and only one column in the first cell we have a plot of desired signal you see the amplitude levels minus 2 to plus 2 at the middle there it is a zero level here and on the horizontal axis we have the interval 0 to 100 200 300 and so on up to 1000 as we have defined so it was the definition of the parameter t time parameter 
starting at 0.001 with the same interval of 0.001 we extended to the value for here so total 1000 samples here we have so when the desired signal is added with certain randomness here so we call it signal corrupted with noise that we have denoted by capital a so here it is in the second cell here so we see a certain amount of distortion to the desired signal after adding randomness and after getting this signal filtered through the adaptive type normalized lms algorithm here we got the estimated signal that is plotted into the third cell here and the difference of the estimated signal and that of the desired signal is nothing but the error signal that is plotted into the last cell of this subplot here